Hey artists, welcome to another day in my 30 paintings in 30 days challenge. I believe we are on day six or painting six and I'm still feeling so excited about this project, which is a good sign because there's a long way to go. So in this particular one, I am painting a wildebeest. And I know these are not super common or popular animals, but I have always had a soft spot in my heart for them. And especially since I got to see them in the flesh, in the wild, oh, I just, I absolutely adore them. So I knew I had to paint them, especially since I had never actually painted a wildebeest before. So one of the things that sets this painting apart from the other ones that I have completed so far is the fact that my background in this one, not so much the brown sort of uh, diluted wash that you see here, but the purple that I'm about to put in is actually lighter than the animal itself. So for all of my other paintings, I wanted, or I ended up going with a darker sort of background. And the reason why is because I wanted that animal to really pop. But I found with this particular animal, a lot of the outer edges of the animal. So for instance, like the top of the face is very dark. The dewlap is very dark. Um, even around the legs is very dark. And I found that if I was going to put a dark background there, it would all get lost. So I decided to go with a really bright, vibrant lilac background for this. And I wanted it to kind of look a little chaotic. So of course I ended up dripping some of my paint thinner on it to really like add that grunge factor to it. But I absolutely love the way that this looks with that brighter background. And I really want to use it in some more paintings as I move forward. So this was my first time doing it with this series. And yeah, let me know what you think. I think it really, it makes the wildebeest pop in a different way than the other paintings did. So one of my challenges with this painting series that I'm working on is balancing that sort of chaos brushstrokes with detail. And because animals, they lend themselves really well to hyperrealism and packing in lots of details. But because I am trying to complete 30 of these in 30 days, I need to be working quickly. And so this series is really allowing me to play around with how much detail I actually need to add and where it's most important and just how I can use detail to really add interest to the painting rather than just adding noise, which can definitely be a factor when you get really obsessed about detailing an entire painting. Sometimes it can actually do more harm than good. So this is allowing me to really explore that. All right, so that wraps up another painting in this 30 paintings in 30 days challenge. Let me know which one has been your favorite so far. This wildebeest weirdly is like at the top of my list. I love the way it turned out. And again, I do have a huge soft spot in my heart for these weird creatures, but I do really love the way this painting turned out. That lighter background was super fun and really, really makes it pop. All right, I will see you in the next video.